Yep, Mike, I got you. Jeannie, I got to add you to that class already. And there's, I think, another person as well. How do we get access to that accountability thing? Oh, I got you. I'll add you to that. Okay. Actually, I think we have a, you scheduled with me tomorrow, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. So you're already on the calendar. So we'll get you on there. Cool. Let's see. A Anthony, I'll, I'll jump on your scheduler today and schedule a call with you as soon as possible too. Just, yeah. to, just follow up on our call with last week. Need to get back in the groove. I've been slacking. I know you and I have talked about it, but I'm going to hold myself accountable in front of the group. Um, I have been off the wagon and need to get back on. So uh, no, no excuses. Okay, sweet. Looking forward to it, man, as always. Um, Alex had a good question here. So what do you guys send for a welcome package after a sale? Uh, let's see. Hey, Ashley. Excuse me, Ashley White. Do you send anything? I send like a little memo about myself and like contact information, but it seems a little janky probably. <laughs> Like, is it, um, you just print something out and then kind of fold it up and mail it? Yeah, it's like a thing I made off of Vista print. It has like a picture, just kind of put a face with who I am. I think it kind of makes it a little bit more personable. Um, And then like, I know, like, I'm loving, it's probably not safe. But anyway, but the reason why I wrote so many apps this weekend is I went and did a, a like a, I can't think of the word. My God. Sorry, y'all. It's not really. Uh, no, like a review, a policy review for a client that's been on the books for over a year and wow. found out I can get them cheaper with SBLI, sat down with them, went to their house. Um, and uh, from that two policy review, I wrote their whole family, basically. But nice. then I was able to like give them the, the material, like SBLI material. This is what the funeral concierge, I want to start doing that. Like, I know that it's probably provided with their policy, but I think them getting it quicker than what they get their policy is helpful for them to feel more comfortable when it's sold over the phone that it's legit. Mm, okay. So but I would like some feedback on what to send because honestly, I need some ideas. Yeah, no, I love the fact that you're doing so on Vistaprint. Are you doing just a regular card or the magnets? No, I want to do a magnet. Uh, my husband used to do magnets. And seriously, everyone I've talked to lately is like, yeah, I'm looking at him right now on the refrigerator. So yeah. they really put it on the refrigerator. Um, okay. No, I just did like a little paper, just a little paper, which is going to get lost or destroyed or tore up over time, really. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, no, I love the fact that you do the Sequoia Concierge show. When we did that run through the other day, I know it was like super brief. In fact, I was kind of kicking myself in the ass because I went a little bit deeper into what, like what it was. And I was like, oh my God, you can like add a bunch of family members to this thing. And like, you can really add policy types, coverage amounts, like our names in there. So um, is that kind of what you're doing? Are you jumping on a Zoom call or how are you showing them the uh, Sequoia concierge and all that? So when we're having a conversation over the phone, basically I'm just going through it. So I'm just hitting the highlights. So I printed it out to be in front of me. So like when I'm sitting here, this is what I'm looking at as I'm going through it. And I'm going through the key benefits of what the plan is. Hey, what's up everybody? Real quick, sorry to stop the video. I know you guys were getting a lot of value and benefits out of it. I just wanna make you guys aware that you can also be a part of these morning huddles every single Monday. You just gotta take action. You're the only one stopping you. It's 2024, let's get it, man. You're gonna get access to all these resources. We're gonna role play, overcome objections, go over rebuttals live every single Monday. You're gonna be able to tap in and get the resources for the Vista print. Oh, we ain't got there yet, but keep, keep tuning in. Let's get it. And okay. so when they hear things like you can add up to 10 family members onto that plan that they don't even have to have a policy. They like okay. that. And it's, um, it's discounted pricing for their funeral needs. They like that. I mean, that's a huge selling feature to SVLI and SVLI's I know back in the day, 
everybody's had this conversation, but their issue was how they were drafting premiums. That's right. fixed. Yep. And out of every, obviously I'm new. I still, I'm learning every day, but I will tell you that SPLI is the easiest underwriting there is. It's immediate. Yep. It's probably the third, like you do your first list of questions and they're running that uh, report to see if what they're applied for, like what they're going to approve them for. Yeah. Um, no, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's part of the reason they're my kind of like my go-to. And I found that for whatever reason, uh, my placement with them, meaning cash that exchanges hands is like yes. way better than any other company out there with SBLI. But, uh, so I dropped this in the chat. This is what you're referring to, right? Uh, yes. And then there is a, hold on. I may have taken it out. I think it's in my, on my printer because I've printed it for the people I went and saw this weekend. Is that, Ashley, is yeah. that on their site? Yeah. So if you go to their website, you can actually print that out and the legacy. So the legacy is another benefit. I go over that too. Um, where they can help with like with utility bills and hospital and all that stuff like that's part of those plans and that's a free benefit that they're going to get with an SBLI policy which is typically a cheaper policy out of anybody you run them through with like they give them standard for okay let for an example uh the client that I had this weekend she had a prosperity policy she was paying i saved her 40 dollars a month and she actually i don't know why they graded her she should have never been graded and she got immediate coverage with sbli yeah yeah i've seen that a lot with uh with policy reviews in particular so yeah i mean like like she said guys like part of the follow-up or the post-sale is like literally going back six months a year because we're not going to remember every you know every Susie that put cigarettes down six months ago but it hasn't been a, a year yet to get her a non-smoker rate right <laughs> right but when you go back and you like look at the policy it's like oh she was graded or she went GTL like why okay it was congestive heart failure five years ago oh crap now I got Sika I can rewrite this right so it's like just just putting your eyeballs on that plan a year later literally will help the customer out and then obviously help you guys out as well so that's why you're able to sell books of business i mean i literally uh i forget the dude's name but like two years ago out of mastermind an agent was like hey jeff hey nick i'm out and they're like oh you're leaving we're like not really what we're gonna do is run a term business and we're just gonna buy books of business for a term and they were like that's not gonna work and then here he is at the mastermind talking about how he has a whole operation, call center operation, just built on rewriting term business. Like, I mean, the money's there, you know, in the rewrites. But uh, but yeah, this is all available if you jump into resources and you hit S you type in SBLI. So go to resources. And if you just type in SBLI. Definitely not a bias carrier, by the way, guys. Like, they are slowly becoming my my favorite carrier. And sorry, I'm like pressing it pretty hard <laughs> at this point. But like, write whoever you want to write with. Okay, it just so happens that they're a great company. Okay, um, but yeah, it's just you know I try to stick with the few amount of carriers as possible. But here's everything you need for SPLI. Um, all the brochures and all that good stuff is right here. So one thing as well that I'll show you guys is like Vistaprint. If you make a free uh, a free account. Just get, get in there and mess around with it. Um, here's like the refrigerator magnets that me and my wife send out. And uh, I'll just take a screenshot of this. And then you guys can copy it, whatever you want to do. Drop it in the chat. But yeah, I will say a magnet is like a really, really good idea. Yeah, absolutely. Even for the claims, guys, like it's not letting me screenshot it though. I'll just send you guys like all an email 
with this in it. But uh, but yeah, even for the claims, like the beneficiaries will see you on their refrigerator and I've had it happen. Like they'll send me a text and be like, hey, are you, you know, my parents' life insurance agent? And then you go in there, just look it up. But it's literally just from them seeing, you know, your picture on their fridge. So, Anthony, you have two numbers on there. One is your national number. Is do you have differentiate them by state that you do business in? Because you have my, two numbers on there. Yeah, let me share my screen again so they can see what you're talking about. Yeah, so he's talking about this part right here. So me personally, what I like is this little seal. So I just use the state that I'm my home state seal, right? And then my license number I for see. my home state. That's yeah. that's your state. That's Texas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh and then the other one's your national producer number. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry if you guys have like a silly looking state seal, like a uh <laughs> <laughs> like a boat or something. I'm just kidding. It shouldn't be a <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah. Um that's pretty much it, man. I mean, very minimal color. So like if I go to order these, just to give you guys like a price. So like, I don't know, I, I got both of these. Like I, I couldn't really tell the difference, honestly, but just get the cheaper one, I guess. Like this would add nine bucks. No thanks. Quantity 25. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, you get a little discount if you order more. Let's just say you want like 50 for the first round. So look, that's 50 magnets, right? Let's see here. Oops, I think I actually ordered them. Oh no, I added them to my cart. I was like, man, I got a whole stack of them. I don't need more. But this is what they look like when they come in. Oh, got the little face blur on there. But yeah, I mean, just a regular refrigerator magnet, nothing crazy. And 50 of these are, like you saw, I think it was like 20 something bucks, add tax, 30 bucks. Definitely worth it. And then you just throw one of these inside of a, uh, like a thank you card. Hey, thanks for letting me protect your beneficiary. And that's it, man. They love it. They eat them up. Sometimes I'll send two because I'll tell them, hey, I'm going to send you guys a magnet. Uh, do you know anybody else who needs a quote? Yeah, send me a couple magnets or whatever the case is. So, but yeah, Anthony. Yes, sir. Uh, it's Joseph Dunkel. Um, so I, you know, I'm doing something similar. You know, like you are. I'm kind of hitting him two times. So you know, after after I close, I send him a thanks dot io card because mm -hmm. um, I I don't have the time to write handwrite cards and I have bad handwriting. So you know, I just pop that in there, and I mean, it's a generic message. Um, you know, but it, I mean, it, it's a nice message. Um, and, you know, I send that out. It's got a picture of me and my family in there and just says, you know, I'm glad you protected yours. And then I also send them like, but just like a one pager, like little policy summary that kind of like sums up their whole policy, you know, you know, who's insured, what's the company, what's their policy name. Um, and, you know, that, you know, it says right on there, you know, this is a whole life policy. And if another agent kind of comes at you, uh, you know, and tells you that it's not this, they're not telling you the truth and it's got my number. So, I mean, I, I mail that out and, you know, usually my card and my, you know, welcome package gets there before their policy does. So. Right. Um, yeah. That's a good thing. point. Magnetic business cards. Um, and I even have that in my script, you know, you know, in the script, I just, you know, you know, one thing I forgot to tell you is that I'm going to send you a free final wishes guide. Also, I'll drop some, you know, uh, magnetic business cards so you can throw them up on the fridge. And people tell me every day, oh, how do you know I'd put it on my fridge? And I said, ma'am, I used to do this, you know, face to face. I know where all the important papers go. They go on the fridge. So I'm from the South. Yeah. So, you know, and they eat that up. So right next to the Medicare agent, right? Yep. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I'm, I'm coming for that business, too. I mean, that's kind of my, uh, you know. I'm not your agent for today or tomorrow. I'm your agent for life. And I mean, that's part of my kind of like strategy is I want, I want that Medicare business too. So. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. That's awesome. So, so what I do in, uh, Noah, actually, I, I just, I'm saying his name because I know that we both started, uh, like kind of tracking this here is with the thank you cards. Um, the, we mail them out. And then when you get them back, it also is almost like a double verifier for the postal address because sometimes they'll come back, right, Noah? Yep. 
And at that point, you'll know, okay, I don't want to send my welcome package yet. Yeah. Right. So like, do you have a time that like, you, is it like a week after you mail it or what's your time frame for the welcome package? I adopted a formula. I'm